Bora Budur. The sun shone on a faraway morning, while the forest murmured its hymn of praise to light, and the hills, veiled in vapour, dimly glimmered like earth's dream in purple. The king sat alone in the coconut grove, his eyes drowned in a vision, his heart exultant with the rapturous hope of spreading the chant of adoration along the unending path of time. Let Buddha be my refuge. His words found utterance in deathless speech of delight, in an ecstasy of forms. The island took it upon her heart, the hill raised it to the sky, age after age. The morning sun daily illumined its great meaning. While the harvest was sown and reaped in the nearby fields by the stream, and life with its checkered light made pictured shadows on its epochs of changing screen. The prayer, once uttered in the quiet green of an ancient morning, ever rose in the midst of the hide-and-seek of tumultuous time. Let Buddha be my refuge. The king, at the end of his days, is merged in the shadow of a nameless night among the unremembered, leaving his salutation in an imperishable rhythm of stone, which ever cries, let Buddha be my refuge. Generations of pilgrims came on the quest of an immortal voice for their worship, and this cultured him. In grand symphony of gestures, took up their lowly names and uttered for them, Let Buddha be my refuge. The spirit of those words has been muffled in the mist in this mocking age of unbelief. And the curious crowds gather here to gloat in the gluttony of irreverent sight. Man today has no peace, his heart arid with pride. He clamours for an ever-increasing speed in a fury of chase for objects that ceaselessly run, but never reach a meaning.